I mean, these people have come from nice lives in Syria, nice homes, and now they find themselves living in a horrible plastic, cold box with about 16 other people, children who have nothing to do all day, and they have to still get through this winter. Then they have to face a, a boiling hot summer up here in these greenhouses and shelters. وتاني جن احنا فقدنا يعني بيتنا اللي كنا قاعدين فيه وشوفيه تفرح فيه يعني تلاقيه جن قدامك او يعني ما كنا عايشين هيك People always say well it's, it's, it's only a drop in the ocean so is it worth it and of course every tiny drop has to be worth it it's so important Direct aid is what we're trying to do. We'll work with the community representatives and the community itself in distributing the aid. We heard all the time from people that Lebanon was the main struggling country. Our plan of action is our 40-foot container, which is loaded with family boxes, and each family box will have some bedding, warm winter jackets, shoes for adults and children, trying to get a soft toy in each one for the kids, toiletries in each box, um, and warm fleece clothing in each box. So that's what we've done. It's amazing the quality of donations that you get. And, you know, people give really good things. All our donations come from the public, um, often through a church or a mosque or a school but uh, essentially from the public of Edinburgh, Scotland and around. The members of the public are brought in clothes, usually in bags, which were heaped up at the other end of the warehouse, and then we've been on Wednesdays and Saturdays packing them into these boxes you see here, um, trying to categorise them in different ways. At the moment we're packing our family boxes. I think what I would say to all the people of Edinburgh and everywhere is if you would like to support the Syrian refugees, then if you help Edinburgh Direct Aid, we can guarantee that your money, your donation of clothes, other goods or money, will go directly to those refugees. It will all go to help. That's the message. seeing Lebanon again but uh, uh, I'm worrying about those people in the cold and the wet in their horrible tent wanting yeah, to go home and uh, we want to be able to help them. Mm -hmm. This should arrive in Beirut then it'll be released and shipped up over the Lebanon mountains to the Bekaa Valley and Baalbek and then we'll be there waiting for it to offload it and distribute it to the people who need it. and we're going to have that container converted into a clinic and, and that will be a great thing that we've done from Edinburgh Direct Aid. I can see being here how I could spend the money. I can go and buy textbooks so that the two schools here in our cell and the one up in a croom that we're trying to help, we can give them textbooks so they can learn properly and have their lessons and be, be educated so that they're not missing out on year after year of education. We need money money to spend on the things that, that these people need, that's the most important thing. Thank you. <laughs>